Welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be my 2020 spring home tour. I'm so excited. I've never decorated for spring, so I can't wait for you guys to see. If you already watched my spring clean and decorate with me, a lot of the stuff you have already seen already, but I've made a few changes since then, so I can't wait for you guys to see that as well. I'm going to get started with my front door. I don't have that much on here. I might get something to put right there, but first I wanted to show you my yard flag. I got this from Kirkland's, and I love it. I was trying to go more for the pastel colors. I filmed how to do this wreath. All the items came from the Dollar Tree. So if you would like to see how I made this wreath, I will make sure to link it down below. But I love the way it turned out. Also, I love this doormat I got this from Kirkland's as well it was $14.99 and then so this is what the house looks like when you first come in when I filmed the decorating of my living room I still had my burgundy lampshades on here but then I got these lampshades from Walmart they were $14.99 and I love it guys. I wanted to brighten up my living room. I love my burgundy, but it took me almost three years to change the colors here. That's one tip. If you don't want, you do not want to buy new lamps because these lamps are perfectly fine, which by the way, they used to be black and I spray paint them a champagne color. Basically all you got to do is just change the lampshade and spray paint your lamp. So that's what I did. And here I got this bunny. This bunny actually came from TJ Maxx and he was $7.99. So one of the main things I wanted to do here is change my curtains and I got these curtains from Amazon. I will try my best to link everything where I got everything down in the description box. I'm going to try my best to remember guys. But I wanted a lot of color I what was, and I love the way how, it's crazy how much curtains can change the look of the room I also got these pillowcases from Amazon these white cream colors because I try not to go with straight white I normally go with a cream white or pearl color they both come from Amazon I like to change pillowcases I don't like to buy brand new pillows it's a cheaper way to do it and also saves you space And here's my plant. I've had her for three years. I, when I got her, she was very small. My mom started me with the plants and I've become a plant lady, y'all. I love it. I used to kill plants. I'm going to be honest with you. But she likes to be by the window so I cannot move her because then if I, if I move her, she's going to turn yellow. So I leave her exactly where she's at. But I love the, all the green. So I feel like she belongs right so I here. I kept this side pretty simple. The only thing I did, I bought this stand at the Target dollar spot. It came in three sizes and this one was $3. And then I got these beads off of Amazon in a pack of three and that was only $12. So I thought that was pretty good. A good way to decorate your diffuser. So peonies are my favorite flowers. So I got this flower bunch from actually from Amazon. Most people don't know that you can you can buy the flower bush like by the packs. 
from Amazon. It's a lot cheaper. It was only $9.99 for one pack. So that's all I used here. And I made sure to get one that was more of a cream color and a little bit of white. So I, I love it, guys. I love it. And I got this egg from Burlington. It was $6.99. And I like the, I, the rose cold color really caught my attention. So what I use, I like to use Dollar Tree books to prop up the decor. So these are just some Dollar Tree um, books. And the tray came from Hobby Lobby, but it was not this color. It was like a really dark gray and I painted it to match the living room. So I get questions a lot about my table. You guys, this was on the side of the road. And it was dark brown and I actually got a video from a long time ago uh, when my husband and I remade the table. So if, I might try to link that down below if I remember. I'm going to try. And basically it was dark brown and we sanded it down, took the brown off and stained the top and I love it. Same thing with these tables. We did the same with these tables to match this one. This mirror came from Christmas Tree Shop and it was $55. My mom bought it for me for my birthday when she saw that I loved it. It's not silver. It's actually like a champagne color. The same color of the lamps. And actually the reason I paint, spray painted these lamps champagne color was a, because of this mirror. I wanted it to match a little and I love it. I made this Dollar Tree egg wreath because I saw the price at the stores at TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and it was pretty expensive. It was between $20 to $30. And ain't nobody got time for that because I was not gonna shell out the cash for that. So what I did is I got a wood wreath and I used 10 pack of the Easter eggs to hot glue on there. And to me, it came out pretty good. I also got a video of that as well. So this clock came from Sam's Club, it is only $19.99 and it's 30 inches. I love it. I needed a big clock because this is such a big wall a little tiny clock was not gonna was not gonna do it for me so I was actually able to find it because when I was looking for a clock they did not have it so I bought one from TJ Maxx my husband changed the battery of it and broke my clock so I had to and when I was looking for a new clock they finally had it so it's perfect it was only $19.99 if you're looking for a big old clock like this one lantern for almost two years now and I bought it at Burlington it was only $12.99 so I got some moss in here with some bunnies I was gonna change it guys but I have not changed it yet I might put some Easter eggs in here so that's what I have there I don't know where I got this idea from but something told me to wrap normally I put like ribbon or something here but something told me to just wrap it with some carrots so since I already had the bunnies in there and I thought it looked pretty cute my kids pictures so this right done basket came from TJ Maxx and then I put some moss in there with some Easter eggs I got this bunny from TJ Maxx not TJ Maxx sorry Burlington Co Factory it was only $7.99 and I love the color they had this one this one has a little pink on the edges you can't really tell with the camera and they had one that was straight white with a little white cotton right there little cotton tail these beads actually came from Amazon remember I said it was from a pack of three so they had this long one and then two to put in my diffuser so I used this long one for th this little greenery that I got from TJ Maxx as well and this books stack books I did it myself it's so easy guys all you had to do is get three Dollar Tree books and then chalk painted I always go with the off-white it's like a pearl color and I used my Cricut machine to make the letters and that was it I put some twine and called it a day Right here is the hallway from the living room and the kitchen. And I got this sign from Dollar Tree. I figured I'd put something here and I thought this sign was so beautiful. And it will also work great in a wreath as so well. So this is my half bathroom. The reason I decorated this bathroom was because of the fact that this is 
pe the bathroom people use and guests use. And basically, I did not decorate the whole house, but I figured I'd decorate the half bathroom. I got these little baskets from Walmart, and then I decided to add some of the Dollar Tree little sparkly eggs in here. I got this birdie from Walmart as well, and I think it was only like a dollar something. I thought it was so cute. So I have a candle burning, and this one is the Black Cherry Merlot. It smells so good, guys. So I kept it pretty simple in here. I have, this is the, what, what do we call this? Like a water pitch or something? Well, anyway, I had some peonies in here, some burgundy ones, and I put some Dollar Tree flowers in here, and I think it looks so good. You would never know that it's from the Dollar Tree. So this is the little picture I got from actually Ross. It was only $4.99. And it actually matches my kitchen um, towel. So I'm going to show you that real soon. But he is risen. That's the He's the reason I'm for this sign season. because I know I'm going to get asked. I got this from Kirkland's for $20 about two years ago. It says, pray to have sight to see the best in others. A heart that I'll always forgives. A mind that remembers the great times and that you will always have faith in so God. So now, getting out of the half bathroom, we're coming into my kitchen. So let me show you what I have in here now. Towels that match the picture that's in the half bathroom. I love this. I got this from uh, Ross for $4.99 as well. When it came to the Easter decor and spring decor, I try to keep it very simple. So I got these jars because I always get asked about them. I got these jars actually from Walmart. They're only $13.99, I think, when I bought them a few years ago. I think they're still the same price. And then I used my Cricut machine to add the letters on here with Ray Dunn letters. So right here, I still have the same little beads in the kitchen. Um, diffuser, I do want to get a stand from Target Dollar Spot. I hope I still find them to prop up the diffuser. I finally was able to find my table tray for the kitchen table. I got this tray from Kirkland's. I don't know when I want something, I wait a very long time to actually get it, and I waited a long time to get this tray. I got a little three baby chicks that says Happy Easter. That's Ray Dunn. This candle comes from Bath and Body Works, and this cactus blossom. Oh my God, y'all, it smells amazing. It smells I got so this little Easter jar from Walmart. They're only $2, and this was the last one because everyone bought it. And as you guys can see, I had it full of little cho Easter chocolates, and my kids have been going to ham with it. I let them get some chocolate after they eat their dinner. I forgot to also mention that I actually got this flower arrangement from Amazon and i loved it i felt like it went very well with what i got going on here in the kitchen so you guys don't sleep on amazon amazon has amazing decor I got this kitchen cart from Walmart and it was in the clearance section and I feel like it came in handy in here because I used this area to decorate for the holiday and I can't wait to show you my So table. I got this shelf from Amazon. I wanted a shelf so I could put some decor up top of this cart and to add some mugs on here. I love the way everything turned So out. this canister is actually right then. My friend Courtney from Mama Makes It Happen brought it for me for Christmas. And then I added this Dollar Tree sign that says spring. This little tiny canister came from Walmart. And then I added some Hobby Lobby little circle flowers on here. This egg came from TJ Maxx. You already know I collect the Ray Dunn. So I was so happy that I was able to find some Easter ones because I was not so lucky last year.
So I decided to add some mugs to this tear tray. This tear tray came from Amazon. My husband bought it for me for Christmas because I wanted one so bad. And I actually asked for the circle tear tray. My husband bought the oval shaped one and I'm so glad that he did. He got the wrong one, but I'm glad that he did because I feel like this is different. And I love being different. I got these carrots actually from Hobby Lobby. These little nests are from Hobby Lobby as well. And they were 40% off. They were $3.99, but also 40% off. So I, don't, I didn't pay that much for them. I got this Easter, you know, this bunny sign from Hobby Lobby as well. So most of the stuff for the tear tape came from Hobby Lobby. This sign also came from Do Hobby Lobby. I only paid like a dollar or something for it because it was 40% off. And I added some carrots. These carrots actually come from Dollar Tree. And I use like paper towels or a bag to prop up the decor from the mugs. So I added some eggs to this mug. And then I these are the Dollar Tree cherries that I use to de decorate the tear tray. I also use them for the wreath. And I was lucky enough to be able to find some more little cherries. This little bunny came from Hobby Lobby as well. And this little canister actually came from Walmart. Walmart has done an amazing job with Easter decor, which with any holiday actually. Now I'm going to show you my kitchen curtains. I wanted to keep it simple here and also look nice and bright. So I brought my living room curtains. These used to be in my living room and I put them in here and I feel like they look so good in here. And I got these curtains from Ross, there were a pack of four, which was perfect because I always use four panels, and there were only $19.99. Courtney from Mama Makes It Happen got her this sign. She loves it. So she put this over top of this one because this is a sign that my husband put on here. Girls only, no boys allowed. <laughs> so now we are going into my daughter's room. She is completely into mermaids. She believes that she is a mermaid. So I got this sign from Hobby Lobby and it was on clearance for $2. She keeps some of her JoJo boys not boys, Jojo Bose upstairs, she said, is decor. So when it gets too full, she'll just bring it downstairs and put it in her bow container. Sign from Hobby Lobby. I saw it on Pinterest and I could not find the sound sign anywhere. And I didn't know it was from Hobby Lobby or that fact that it was a spring decor thing that they had. So when I was walking through there getting my um after Christmas sale, they already had their spring decor out, and I saw this beautiful picture and I knew that this was perfect and I already knew the area I was going to keep it in and I love it. This was, I had in mind exactly where I was going to put it at. This lamp was actually out in the trash and it looked nothing like this. It was black over here and the lampshade was dark, like really dark brown and I wanted to decorate, but I was broke, so I just spray painted. I had the colors already, the spray paint. So I spray painted the, the lamp, and I spray painted the lampshade. So I just put it in my daughter's room. This sign came also from Hobby Lobby, and I bought it three years ago with the pom-poms. We got this bed for my daughter because the other one actually broke, and we had a, like a little brick to hold the one side up but it was time for her to get a new bed. Plus, it's a lot easier to make this bed. So this is not the normal sheets and stuff that I keep on her bed, but she's really into this Sunny Days show and she begged to have this on her bed, so I just let her do it. She made her own little bed this morning, so she always makes sure to put her 
little animal people right back on her bed. I got this rug from Walmart and it was $25 when I bought it. And I felt like it was perfect for her room. So this dream catcher came from Hobby Lobby and I got it when it was 50% off because when I went in there it was not on sale and I don't pay full price especially if it's expensive. This sign came also from, well this one came from the Goodwill. I saw it and I knew immediately that this would match perfectly in her room. She leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. This desk was left out in the trash because someone moved and just put it in the trash. And it was very brown and very old looking. So I spray painted it because I have a vision. When I see something, I see the potential that it can be. So I spray painted it. And then I found some old school type chairs to go with it because I feel like this is such an old looking desk that I needed an old looking chair so I could spray paint that as well to match the colors in her room. These picture frames actually come from the Dollar Tree so what I do is I spray paint it to match it to match the color that's already in the room that I'm in that I wanted to put it in. So hey mama. These books come from the Dollar Tree. And I chalk painted it and then used my Cricut machine to put some encouraging words on here. You are amazing. Remember that. And I was terrible that this little canvas sign came from Target Dollar Spot three years ago. And it says, you are so loved. And then I used one of the peonies that I have downstairs to add to this little stacked books. And I have a video on how I made this stack books if you want some help with that. This is my daughter when she was a baby. These curtains match perfectly in this room. Actually, I decorated the room. I chose these colors because of the curtains. My sister-in-law gifted this to me. They used to be her daughters. And she bought this 20 years ago from Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond. So I cannot find the link for that, you guys. That was 20 years ago. But I love the colors. And that's why I decorate, I decorate with these colors in my daughter's room. So everything that I get is pretty much to match this room. This bookshelf was white and I chalk painted it with pink chalk paint. I try not to get like really deep colors. So if I use chalk paint, it's going to be a very light pink. I don't like to, I don't know why, but I don't, I really don't like hot pink. I found this lamp at the Goodwill. You guys, I always check the Goodwill or uh, anywhere else first before I go shopping and pay full price. So everything pretty much matches, even the toys matches with the decor. I got this read, these read letters from Target Dollar Spot for their back to school season three years ago. And I felt like it was perfect with her bookshelf. This hamper to put her stuffed animals in is so much easier to store. My husband added this shelf for storage to put, you know, her stuff on top. And I'm thinking about getting some tulips to put in here instead. I got those flowers from Wish, guys, and it was not what the picture showed. I was duped. This little Paris figurine thing looking thing came from Dollar Tree. And this vase came from Target Dollar Spot. It was like a off-white color and I spray painted it teal. She's obsessed with JoJo, so you would definitely see JoJo in her room somewhere. So this cubby organizer is the same as my son's room and my living room, only that for her room, I got it white. And I forgot to mention that this dresser also came, this dresser also came from Walmart, but the knobs, what I did is I changed the knobs and these knobs come from Hobby Lobby and they, they were 50% off. So I put a bunch of unicorns in the here. Cubbies as well come from Walmart. They're only $5 and they are huge. So they help with storage. This little thing here I can't remember when I'm talking it's like my mind goes blank it came from Target Dollar Spot and their spring decor from two years ago so this box organizer came from Ross I think it was only $7.99 and I loved it because it says dance in the light in the moon so this is where she keeps her junk <laughs> it looks pretty though and I got this picture from Kirkland's with a letter D because my daughter's name is Destiny and then I put this five dollar mirror here because she likes to look at herself she will stare and then she'll put like a ton 
of chapstick or lip gloss and just stare herself in the mirror and tell herself that she looks fabulous. You know what? That's all right. So this is my master bedroom. I didn't make too many changes in here, but I did want to brighten the room up. I always get asked where did I get my quilt from. This is actually a quilt and I got this from Zulili for Christmas two years ago. My mama told me, asked me which one did I want and I picked it out for me and she got it for me for Christmas. People always wonder what exactly are those. They're like little golden stars. The next thing I did is I got these pillows from Ross. It's for two pillows they were $16.99 and I didn't think that was too bad so I got that and the pillows behind it also come from Ross and I've had those for a while now and they're also $16.99. This headboard comes from Walmart and we paid about $70 from it so we got it from the Walmart website and we, this is like over two years ago so I don't even know if they still have it on their website and then I put some, some little lights on my headboard I love having lights on my headboard sometimes at night when I'm watching TV I'll turn all the lights off and just have these lights on and I love it So these night tables came from Facebook Marketplace. They don't even match our furniture, but it'll do. And then these lamps were in the Walmart clearance section and they were black. They were, they were completely black, guys. And I painted it with chalk paint and then I got the lampshades also from Walmart. These curtains used to be in my kitchen about two years ago and then I took them off and put something else on there. But I had them in my drawer and I checked in there first before I bought some new curtains. And then I decided to put them in my room because I wanted to brighten my room up. And that's why I got the pillows from Ross because I felt like they matched very well with these curtains. So I have a lot of perfumes. So I usually keep them on my dresser so that I make sure that I wear them because my husband has this thing where he likes cologne. So he likes to buy me perfume. So I have a lot of that. And then I got these tulips from TJ Maxx. Right under the TV, I have this tray actually came from Home Goods. And one of my neighbors was moving and she gave me this tray about three years ago. This little greenery came from TJ Maxx and it was only like $6.99. And then I just have a picture of me and my husband on here. And last but not least, I got this sign from Hobby Lobby. And I figure it works perfectly in my master bedroom. So I hope you enjoy this house tour. Even though it's a spring home tour, I was asked to show the other rooms of their house. So I made sure to do that this time. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below which room of the house is actually your favorite room. My room would have to be my daughter's room right now. But comment down below, let me know and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos guys. Bye.